Right, back out for an overnighter, back on my uh, Bucastle Fells. I'm going to be heading up onto the, the summits because it's very little wind down here. There's a little breeze blowing, but not much, but I need summits that's going to keep midges and stuff away. But uh, I met a, a guy who watches my videos in the car park down below. Um, I've had a bit crack with him. Obviously, he says he's done all these hills many years ago camping before YouTube. So it was nice to meet him. Thanks, Andrew. Keep watching. Right, we're going to bash on, get a bit of height. Sun's out at the moment. I wasn't expecting this, it was supposed to be cloudy, you know, right through all day, all night. But I just wanted to get out, which is what I'm doing. Oh, I'm in the shelter of the trees now, out the sun. It's uh, a couple of degrees lower, beautiful. So I can hear that helicopter buzzing around somewhere. I think it's just like hovering the tops of the fells, some kind of exercise it's on. Hopefully when I get to where I'm going it's still floating about and I can get some decent footage. It's been buzzing the fell side for the last hour or so. The fragrant coming off the heather. It's beautiful. See if I attract all the bees. Yeah, there's plenty out up here at the moment. Hopefully, uh, where I'm going, there should be a bit as well. So, always makes up for good photographs. Yeah, and this is why when you're on this heather stuff, you've got to be careful. I've just disappeared down a great big hole. Yep, right down there. Disappeared to me waist. Whew. Right, a little bit further. Right, we're going to have to do some heather bashing along here, up onto that little ridge there, and then follow it along. Maybe you've got there. It's uh, just a bit heavy going on this stuff, just gotta watch your footing. Another 20, 30 minutes hopefully. Alright, I was over there, that was my first choice, but uh, didn't fancy that one, so this is my second choice for tonight. So I'll be pitching up here. The flies are still around, so hopefully they'll disappear. Uh, I was fired that tent up because it looks like there's rain heading this way. It wasn't forecast, but very much looks like it. Should have went uh, towards the Moffat Hills. Over that way, it looks fairly bright. Typical. Okay, we're in the uh, the Hubba, MSR Hubba NX tonight. There's a nice breeze blowing. The sun's even trying to get out, which is an added bonus, but uh, yeah, I'm all set up. Usual suspects, still using the summer bag. Got my little, my rab silk liner, thermoref mat. Got my pillow under my t-shirt. I haven't got a bivy tonight because this is a double skin tent, so I won't need one. Um, that's my bag. I just put the rain cupboard over it and all my food and drinking stuff. I've just fired some bits and pieces in here because I want to get uh, something on to eat. So yeah, it's not a bad afternoon really. The forecast was to be really overcast and but, you know, it's, it is overcast, but there's bright spells keep popping out. So can't really argue with that. And that breeze is great because when I was coming up, then flies were killing us. Just buzzing around your head, really annoying. So, <laughs> but yeah, nicely pitched, a bit of a breeze blowing. What more could you ask for? Time for something to eat.
here's that light. It's looking good. We'll have about 10 minutes, I would reckon. Maybe a bit longer. Stunning. Yeah, this is what it's all about. You expect nothing and you get a sunset as lovely as that. Yep, and within 10 minutes, flat as a pancake, dull, dark, cold. I've been out taking a few night shots, night lapses. Dark about quarter past nine, so the nights are definitely closing in now, but uh, the wind has dropped just about completely. Very slight breeze, so I'm hoping it's enough. I mean, I've got no midges or flies or anything that all went. So it just helps with the condensation if you have a bit of a breeze, so we'll see what tomorrow brings. Catch you all in the morning. Keep to the edge, there's enough breeze to keep the midges off. Put them back here, they're biting. Right, just about packed down. Slip the top sheet, fly sheet. Have a bit of air, but uh, I'm oh, bloody midges. How come they always get in your ears? The rest of me rubbish down there. As you can see, there is nothing really to see. So, no sunrise this morning, which I was expecting. Uh, we must have had a bit of rain in the night. Well, we did have a bit of rain in the night. All right, let's get the rest of this packed away. Right, that's us all packed away. Just a dry spot where the tent was. But uh, bloody midges, oh. Still misty. But there's no wind and it's absolutely been killing us these last 10 minutes. So it's a quick escape up the hill before I get eaten. Whew. That was a nightmare. Knee high, deep, heather, which was soaking. But uh, I've made it to the tree line. The path continues out here. All right, so I'm a bit lower now. It's starting to clear up nicely. This is the bit uh, they were working on, I could hear, last night. But I think they're further down the hill. And them logs up. Yeah, it's clearing through, but there's still a few midge about, so I'll keep moving. Yeah, so there wasn't much filming this morning. It was just uh, a case of dropping the tent. I had a quick brew. 
packing everything and off because of the midge was <laughs> was attacking us. It's just completely no wind. I mean, I went to Kip last night and it was you know it was fairly windy, but then it must have dropped right off in the night. And then the rain come, nothing. The midges love that, don't they? No wind and damp. But now it's glorious. Sun's out. Got a bit lower out the mist. So I forgot to mention the GoPro. So this is my third GoPro Hero 9. Um, they uh, exchanged it on the returns policy. So this is my third. And touch wood, I'm running it without the media mod. I've just got some wind mufflers on the mics. So it's the audio straight out the camera. And so far, seems to be okay. No pops and crackles like every other camera I've had has done so whether this is a camera they've modified or I'm just lucky but uh, yeah it's taken a while nearly a year I got the camera last September you know unless you're running it in the medium mod which I had and an external mic it was fine but trying to run it just on its you know on mics, cameras mics, audio was, uh, was bad, but uh, this one seems to be okay, fingers crossed. Okay, so another return up on the Bewcastle Fells, I always like it up here, very quiet, just how I like it. Now we had a decent sunset, so I can't argue with that. I did say the sunrise wouldn't be anything, and it wasn't. We were flagged out, but uh, as always, always good to be out. Don't know when I'll get out next. Could be a good few weeks. It's been about three weeks since my last one. You know, holidays and other stuff going on. Anyhow, thanks for watching. We'll see you out on the next one.